what's up everybody, I'm back. Um, good friend brought it to my attention that in my intro I had put it on there that I was going to be doing some gun and guitar videos, and that's why I did the gun upload earlier, because I hadn't done one yet. Um, so this is going to be the guitar video. I've been thinking for a while, what am I going to do? Um, I'm not good enough to get on here and play for you guys, I don't plan on ever doing that. If somebody wants me to show them how to do some chords or something stupid like that, maybe some intros, some riffs, that kind of thing, sure. I'll do a tutorial like that, but I'm not going to sit here and play. I use it as a stress release and kind of just what I want to do when I come home from work. I'll sit down with the guitar, I'll unwind for a little bit. Same thing with my games, I sit here and play games. So I just want to kind of show you the three styles of guitars I have, I guess. Two are kind of the same style, but different play feel. Uh, so to start out, I'm going to do the acoustic electric. I don't have any strict acoustic guitars. I have acoustic electric. Um, and this is kind of my favorite and kind of my go-to if I'm going to play, I don't know, country. I guess it's a good way to do it. If I'm going to play country, if I'm going to play like old slow rock or just acoustic covers of stuff, um, it is an ovation. It's an ovation custom LX limited edition. Um, it's got the gold inlays. It's like a one-off color. It's you can't really tell it right here, but it's kind of purple. Um, it's probably eight to nine years old. I don't remember exactly what it is. It is the big back one, the big turtle back. Um, very pretty guitar, mahogany fretboard, so on and so forth. Blah blah blah. You're probably bored already, um, but very, very clean tone, and it's out of tune tremendously. I haven't tuned it in probably six months. Um, if I don't play this one, I end up playing my Ovation Applause, my cheaper acoustic electric. And usually this one's in the hard case, in the closet, and it's just easier to grab the applause. That being said, it's a very clean toned guitar. It is, like I said, acoustic electric. It does have the equalizer and everything set up there. And it's a lot of fun to play. It's got a very good feel. Very light fret, very light um, strings on it. I think I have either Ernie Ball 9s or maybe 8s, the extra slinkies. Um, give it a little bit of a buzz. Really good for like older Hank Williams, so on and so forth. But that's kind of my go-to acoustic electric if I'm actually going to play, play, and not just mess around. And I'm definitely never going to sing for you guys, because I'm sure you can tell by the way my voice sounds that you don't want me singing. So. The other one I'm going to show you, or one of three, I guess, is going to be my go-to 60s, 70s, maybe even 80s rock kind of guitar, and that's kind of the old standard, the Fender American Strat. Um, it's got everything on there. It doesn't have a block in it, but it is set up for Shmola, Whammy Bar, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it is the standard. It's the newer model. It's 2009, I think, but it does have the, the five selection selector switch instead of the three, the newer model, which I like because the threes kind of suck, which is what you're going to get if you get either one of the lower end Mexican strats or you're going to get with the, what do they call them, like the Starcaster and the little $99 like Fender knockoffs, I don't remember what the heck they're called now. I always just wanted to go straight for the main Fender even though I don't play with the crap. But it's that very clean sounding rock tone. So that's another one that is in Star or Sunburst. I don't remember if this is Tobacco Sunburst or Cherry Sunburst or something, but a few years ago I bought that one as well. So then we get into, like, my go-to electric. If I'm going to do anything electric, this is the one I usually pick up. Um, honestly, don't touch the Strat that much because this is kind of the all-around, it'll play anything guitars. And this is the Schecter C6 Hellraiser Diamond Series in the black cherry finish, as you can see there, with the EMG blackout pickups. Um, haven't really done a whole lot to this one, it's still got the plastic covering with the Schecter sticker on the back. I literally just, I pick it up and play it. I love it. Um, it does have the three sludge, uh, three selector switch, like the three position, um, but it also has the ability to split your pickups. Which gives you either great sustain if you want to do like grunge, alternative, that kind of newer metal. But it also gives you the ability to play just like the Stratocaster. In fact, if you play it right, you can't tell the difference between this and an American Strat. Um, and there's going to be somebody comment on this video that they love Strats and say Strats are way better. And dude, it's all opinion. It is what it is. I love my Strat. 
I wouldn't have bought one if I didn't like it. That being said, if you know what you're doing, this rivals it. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it does. Um, the one thing I will say about this that I can do on my Stratocaster that I don't do on this one because it just doesn't sound right to me, um, I have to use a pick on the, on the Schecter. Have to. For some reason, it doesn't sound good when I just, you know, play with my hand. But the Strat just has such a mild tone to it that either way, depending on what I'm playing, I can do with or without a pick. Um, this one I actually got on sale. These were on anywhere between eight and eleven hundred, depending on if you have the Sustainiac set up, um, which I definitely want to get and transfer this over to a Sustainiac because they're awesome, the active sustain pickups. This one I think I ended up paying a little bit over five for, brand new. It was on sale. They had it sitting in the local music shop forever and couldn't sell the thing, and I walked in, and it's what I'd been looking for for a while, and saw the price, and I, I bought it. That's all there was to it. Um, wonderful tax time gift to myself, if you will. So, that's kind of my go-to electric. I love playing the thing. Uh, it's not the first Schecter I've ever owned. I actually had a little $300 Schecter. I don't even remember what it was. Maybe basic C6 or something. But, same kind of tone, but you don't have the ability to split the blackouts. So you don't have a, you know, it's just a much more detailed setup. Um, it's basically the exact same guitar as the Avenged Sevenfold Sinister Gates C6 that you can buy. Minus, it doesn't have the custom paint job. And it doesn't have the Sustainiac built in, but for the same price, you can get this guitar with a Sustainiac without having that paint job. Um, I would recommend any of these three to anybody who wants to get into music and learn to play the guitar. Uh, and kind of my personal experience, I taught myself. I don't know a whole lot. Um, I'm not going to pretend to be great, and I don't plan on ever really playing them on the video <laughs> unless you guys ask for like tutorials on how to play a song, something like that, then sure. Um, but you're probably going to get stuck with me singing, and it's going to be pretty horrible. Um, but you can also get the entry level of any of these three guitars that are going to play similar, and if you're new to it, you're not going to be able to tell a difference. But if you're going to teach yourself, don't go out and buy like the $99 Fenders, and don't go out and buy an $89 Ibanez Acoustic if you're wanting to play acoustic. I mean, you're going to get the basics of it, but the notes aren't going to sound the same. And you might say, oh, well, a G is a G played on any guitar. Yes and no. They all sound like a G. Some of them don't sound as good as some others. Um, and definitely, if you're going to get into guitar and play a little bit, spend a little bit more on your first guitar. I'm not saying you have to go out and buy like an $8,000 Gretsch for your first guitar. I don't recommend that. I don't own a Gretsch. I don't feel like I'm good enough to own a Gretsch. Granted, you can get one for 800 to, you know, $1,200. I have guitars that cost that much. Um... But most of them were gifts or so on and so forth. I didn't go out and buy them saying, oh, I'm good enough, I need this guitar. But like the Schecter Diamond Series that I got a heck of a deal on, that's why I bought it. That kind of guitar, I mean, it plays like a $1,000, $1,200, $2,000 guitar, and it's super easy to play, super easy to finger the fret and stuff on it. I mean, no buzz. And even if you're amateur and don't get your hand movements down just right, it still sounds okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to sound perfect, of course, but it sounds okay. Um, but, you know, let me know. If you guys like these kind of videos, me showing hobbies and different guitars and stuff like that, if you want to see some of them played, if you want to see sound quality difference in, like, the high-end ovation versus the low-end ovation, by all means, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you want. I'm no problem with that. I get bored. It's like anybody else. I have no problem doing multiple videos. And I'm going to try to do more of these in the future instead of just Let's Plays, even though I do... Now, Let's Plays are my forte. They're fun. They're interesting. They are enjoyable to me, because I like playing games and just randomly coming up with stuff. Um, but let me know. By all means, I have no problem doing another video on guitars or guns or my opinion on different stuff. Just leave a like. Let me know. All right? You guys have a good night, and I will catch you in the next video.